Welcome back. Let us now solve the question number nine in the CKS Kalashal exam simulator. Question number nine, task rate three percentage. Some containers need to run more secure and restricted. There is an existing app armor profile located at the given location for this. Install the app armor profile on node, cluster one, node one, connect using SSH and add label to the node and create a deployment named app armor in the namespace default with one replica of image nginx with the specified image version node selector for security equals app armor which is feeding back to the point number two on the question and then single container named c1 with the app armor profile enabled the pod might not run properly with the profile enabled write the logs of the pod into the given uh, log file so another team can work on getting the application running perfect so as usual uh let's use or let's switch to the given context um so they say let's first check the profile if it is there um yeah, this is seems to be the app armor profile. Profile name is very secure. And it seems it is denying all the rights, file rights here. Very simple profile. All right. Um, let's solve the first section of this question. So install the app armor profile on the node. So we are on this terminal we are still not on the node here so either we can simply copy paste down to the node after ssh after doing the ssh or we can simply use the scp or secure copy command to copy the file from this path and we want this to be copied to this node and um let us copy this to the home directory uh, it's copied now let us ssh onto the mission the worker node one and then check if uh, the file is copied so profile is copied let's check if it's the same file it is indeed okay so now that we copied the profile here we have to uh, load this profile to the app armor which uh, for which we can use the app armor parser command and we will load the dot profile in the current directory oh sorry it's it's a typo it's parser so looks it's done now let us verify uh, if the profile is loaded as uh, loaded uh, in the app armor and it is in enforced mode so to to check that we have to use the app armor status and we'll we'll use the grep command um, and we know this is the profile name if we have an entry if we have an entry here it 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 looks good so enforced mode and here it is in enforced mode this is the profiles very secure but that looks good so we have loaded the profile so this is done uh, the second part is add label security equals app armor uh, to the to the node so we can directly edit um, the node uh, and modify the deployment on the fly 
or we can make use of the imperative commands to do that. So Kubernetes, uh, uh, label, label the node, and we're going to label this node. Sorry, copy it into work. Cluster node one, and this is the label we have to apply. Uh, we are still inside of um, the worker node. So let's step back and then apply this. It's labeled. Let's verify that. So cube get, get nodes, um, show labels. So for this, uh we have applied it for the node one so we have we could see this additional label that we just applied security equals app armor looks good so we have done this as well so the third uh part says create a deployment named app armor in the namespace default let's let's do that so kubectl create deployment named app armor as well App Armor uh, in the default namespace. No need to specify, but I'm just doing um, by default it places the deployment and ports in the default namespace, but I'm explicitly stating it here. Um, and then we have to use this image. So dash dash image equals this one. Um, node selector, we, I don't think. We can do it from imperative command, uh, single container. Okay, for now, we will use the dry run. Dry run equals client. So I didn't, I didn't set the um, alias um, for this one. So I'm just running through the entire command. So the best practice for exam, since we keep doing it over and over again, it's it's better to create an alias for uh, the dry run equals client and output equals yaml uh, looks good so now we'll redirect this to the file called nine dip nine dash deployment dot yaml file and then we'll open the nine dash deployment dot yaml file so this is taken care. A deployment name is App Armor, which is taken care. So let's do the node selector label. So it should be part of uh, the uh, part specification. Part specification here and node selector. Uh, node secure. So it's security equals app armor. Oh. So instead of equals AML, we have to use security colon app armor and um, single container named c1 so the container name is nginx here we have to change that to c1 um, and then okay with the app armor profile enabled so we have to enable the app armor so we'll go back to the Kubernetes documentation, say app armor. It's, it's all about adding an additional annotation.
So this is the one we're looking for. Exactly this one. <laughs> Go back to our terminal. Um, so this has to be done at the part specification level, uh, not the deployment specification. So we have to make note of that. Um, so we'll add annotations here and then paste what we have copied. So the profile name we know is very secure. And uh, here we have to replace this with the container name, which in our case is C1. And I think all looks good. We'll save the change and then we'll create the deployment now. You one cannot be handled as a deployment. Oh, I think there is a typo with annotations. Annotations. Let's do it again. So deployment is created. kubectl get deployments in the default namespace. App armor. It's not coming up, so which they explicitly stated in the question. So the pod might not run properly with the profile enabled. Write the logs of the pod into this one. So let's inspect that. Kubecut will describe pod. Describe pod app, app armor. So it says warning. Let's check the log um, of this one. Kubectl logs um, for the pod. So docker entry point.sh cannot create dev null permission denied. No files in this. So what we have done is so the app armor profile that we just created and loaded it, it restricts write file write permissions. So this nginx uh, seems requires file uh, write operations or permissions. So because of which it's not able to really come up. So that seems to be the reason. So what we need to do is um, they have asked us to write this logs uh, to the file here. We can, we can do one more thing. So click. Uh, we'll check the pods and then we'll grab for app, R, app armor. Click cuttle is not installed here. Let's oh, we have to go to the node here. SSI, SSI, sorry, SSH on to this node. And then we do this click a little parts app armor, app armor is there. So we're going to try to check the container logs as well here.
um, Craig Cuttle PS. Um, hyphen A process status of this one just container ID we had to grab for this one so now we know that Okay, so we don't have to get into this level because uh, the logs here clearly states why it's not able to come up. So we'll simply redirect this to the file they have specified in the question. So let me open the file just to validate once again. Okay, that looks good. So that's all for this question and thanks for your time.